Hi, it's Carrie. Some amazing dinosaurs and flying reptiles today and some new and unusual ones too. Can you tell me how many Pachyrhinosaurus there are in today's video? There's a fun ending today when the dinosaurs get taken by surprise. Please subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like dinosaurs. Archaeopteryx lived during the Jurassic period when many dinosaurs lived. It is one of the oldest known birds. It was a carnivore and may have eaten insects and other small animals. Archaeopteryx seemed to be half bird and half dinosaur. It had teeth, three claws on each wing, a flat breastbone, hanging belly ribs and a long bony tail. Like present day birds, it had feathers a lightly built body with hollow bones, a wishbone and reduced fingers. It may have been able to fly but not very far. Ratosaurus lived in Queensland, Australia. It is a genus of sauropod dinosaur from the Jurassic period of what is now Eastern Australia. It had powerful elephant-like legs. Its name means Trojan reptile. Ratosaurus was of average build, up to 17 metres or 55 feet in length and about 20 tonnes in weight and about 3 to 4 metres at the hip. Quite a stunning looking dinosaur there. Pachyrhinosaurus was a herbivore that lived in Western North America during the late Cretaceous period. Its fossils have been found in Alberta, Canada and in Alaska. It lived in herds, travelling in large groups. This one's quite a colourful one, isn't it? Like other ceratopsians, its frill had several large horns on the outside and two smaller horns on the top of the frill. Its strong beak could snap branches and break off ferns. Top running speed was about 15 miles per hour. Tyrannosaurus. The skull is short and deep and solid compared to other big meat eating dinosaurs. The large front teeth are built for gripping while the back teeth are thin blades evolved for shearing meat. The eyes are positioned facing forward to give binocular vision. The ear structure is much like a crocodile's. Bite marks found on Triceratops and Edmontosaurus fossil bones show that Tyrannosaurus could crunch through bone. Analysis of fossilised Tyrannosaurus dung shows that it contained the bones of its prey. Ceratosaurus lived during the late Jurassic period. It had an S-shaped neck and a short horn on its snout. The snout horn was for display purposes only. It had a massive tail bulky body and heavy bones. The powerful short arms had four clawed fingers. It could grow to about 20 feet long, weighing up to one ton. Its skull had two short brow ridges with bony knobs and ridges above its eyes and on its head. The powerful jaws had long, sharp, blade-like teeth. Ceratosaurus was a large, fierce predator that could kill even large sauropods. Nothronychus is a genus of theropod dinosaur classified in the group Therizinosauria. It's from the Cretaceous period and lived in North America. You can see the resemblance to Therizinosaurus. It walked on two legs. The name Nothronychus is derived from the Greek meaning slothful claw. It was a herbivorous theropod with a beak, a bird-like hip, resembling the other non-related ornithischians and four toed feet with all four toes facing forward. Australovenator was a carnivore that lived during the Middle Cretaceous period. It was a medium size and grew to about 20 feet long 
and six feet tall. It had long powerful legs, arms that had three large sharp claws on each hand and a tail. It would have eaten small plant eating dinosaurs. It had a sleek build and could move fast. Ceratops lived in the late Cretaceous period. It was the dominant herbivore of its time. It lived at the same time and was probably preyed upon by Tyrannosaurus. When threatened, Triceratops would charge into its enemy like a rhinoceros. Triceratops was quite fearsome to look at with its large bony frill, three horns and massive size. Horn cones are covered in a bony sheath that makes them seem much bigger. The neck frill protects the back of the skull and is bordered by little knobs of bone. Eo Tyrannus lived in the middle Cretaceous period. It was an early relative of T. rex. It was a meat-eating dinosaur that was about 15 feet or four and a half meters long. This theropod had well-developed arms with long hands. It would have preyed on smaller herbivorous dinosaurs. What I like about Eo Tyrannus is that it shows that the Tyrannosaurs were not always huge and powerful carnivores, but originated from faster, lightweight hunters. The longer arms also appear to have been still an important part in prey capture, something that would have been greatly reduced in later Tyrannosaurids. Tyrannodon was a flying reptile that lived during the time of the dinosaurs during the late Cretaceous period. It had a crest on its head, no teeth at all, and a very short tail. Tyrannodons were flying reptiles that were about six feet long, which is two meters, with a 25 to 33 foot wingspan, which is like 10 meters, weighing about 35 pounds. Its standing height was about six feet, which is two meters. Tyrannodon's wingspan is longer than that of any other known bird. Bei Shan Long lived in the early Cretaceous period in the Gansu province in China. Bei Shan Long was big and powerfully built with long arms and legs and a long tail. Its arms were strong and it had scary 6 inch or 15 centimeter claws. Notice the feathered crest on the head and the long feathers on the underside of the arms of this model. There's those claws. It was probably an omnivore. It was an orthnisomimid, which means it belongs to a group of theropod dinosaurs which looked a bit like modern day ostriches. They could run fast. It grew to 8 metres or 25 feet long. Its name means White Mountain's Dragon. Dexia Titan is a genus of titanosauriform dinosaur from the Lower Cretaceous of Lanzhou Basin, China. It is known from fossils including several neck vertebrae, a shoulder blade and a thigh bone. It was a very large dinosaur estimated up to 30 meters or 98 feet in length. It had an enormously long neck which topped up fine leaves and plants. Pentaceratops lived in the late Cretaceous period. It was about 6 meters or 20 feet in length and has been estimated to have weighed around 5 tons. It had a short nose horn, two long brow horns and long horns on the dugal bones. Its skull had a very long frill with triangular hornlets on the edge. Its name means five horned face. Only three are true horns and the other two are elongated cheekbones. It had a curved toothless beak for nipping off leaves. And here's another Pachyrhinosaurus. Pachyrhinosaurus was about 18 feet or five and a half meters in length and weighed around four tons. Like other ceratopsian dinosaurs, it had a massive head, a neck frill and spikes on its neck frill. 
However, unlike some of its relatives, it did not have a horn on its snout, but instead had a massive flattened bony lump. Scientists believe that it probably used this bony lump for headbutting and shoving, much the way a musk oxen does today. Styracosaurus. Styracosaurus was a ceratopsian dinosaur from the Cretaceous period. I really like this dinosaur for its impressive and intimidating appearance. It had six long horns extending from its neck frill, with smaller horns above each eye and a 60 centimeter or two foot long horn protruding from its nose. Styracosaurus was a relatively large dinosaur reaching lengths of five and a half meters or 18 feet and weighing nearly three tons. It stood about 1.8 meters or six feet tall. Styracosaurus possessed four short legs and a bulky body and a short tail. Spinosaurus was the biggest of all the carnivorous dinosaurs, larger than T-Rex and Giganotosaurus Spinosaurus had a long and narrow snout at the end of its skull and a small crest above its eyes. It had six or seven needle-like teeth on each side of the very front of the upper jaw and another 12 teeth behind those. There were also a few large slanted teeth that interlocked at the end of the snout. While its jaw was powerful, none of the teeth were serrated, making it most likely to have survived on fish and carcasses. Tyrannosaurus was a carnivore, a predator and a scavenger. Its diet was based on herbivorous dinosaurs such as Triceratops, Edmontosaurus and Hadrosaurs. They would have also scavenged, stealing meals from smaller predators. Some experts suggest that Tyrannosaurus was at least partially covered with feathers during some part of its life. And remember to tell me how many Pachyrhinosaurus you saw in today's video. Thank you for watching my video. Please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more great videos. See you again soon. And here's trouble. Super Fun Reviews button or you can watch any of the other videos you can see or go to my homepage and there's even more. Please remember to share my video on social media including Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and any other group you belong to. Thank you once again.